So the three runners away for this first race, 18 fences ahead of them. And as they come to the first plane fence, King's Apollo on the inside, very promising four-year-old. From Brimley on the outside in that bright orange jacket, blue and green at the back at the moment, is painted gold, Jeremy Maho. This will be the last fence after another couple of circuits. King's Apollo on the inside, jumps it well from Brimley in painted gold as they race up past the winning post on their way to fence number three. So a couple of circuits ahead of them. And King's Apollo, only a four-year-old, won his first race at Andover uh, at uh, Paxford on Easter Monday. And Brimley made a slight mistake there, pecked a bit on landing, was joined by Painted Gold as they head now towards this last fence in this home straight. Fence number four, another plain one. King's Apollo from Brimley and Painted Gold. King's Apollo took a bit of a chance with that one. Over safely enough on the inside as they swing right-handed. It's a very warm favourite, about five to one on. As they make their way around this bend and into the back straight for the first time. Fence number five, a plain fence coming up next. And then the second one in the back straight is their first open ditch. Kings Apollo by just over a length from Painted Gold has moved into second place now. That relegates Brimley to last place, but only about three lengths behind the leader. And a fairly sedate gallop as they approach this first fence in the back straight. So Kings Apollo and Jamie Knox lead by a length from Brimley on the outside of Painted Gold. All safely over, and now they face their first open ditch. Fence number six, King's Apollo leads by just under a length from Painted Gold as they come into it. Jumps it well, does King's Apollo, a bit quicker than Painted Gold there. Three or four lengths now back to Brimley as the other plain fence comes up. Fence number seven, King's Apollo. Sees a good stride, gains about half a length in the air over Painted Gold. Painted Gold goes up to within half a length on the flat as they come to the last one in the back straight on this circuit, fence number eight. King's Apollo got in a bit close there, leads by half a length from Painted Gold. Six then back to Brimley as they swing right-handed and make their way back to this home straight for the first time through the poplar trees. And as they make their way through, King's Apollo on the inside of Painted Gold. Painted Gold hanging out to the left a little bit on that bend, but around it safely enough as King's Apollo and Painted Gold then dispute the lead as they come into this fence that was their first. It's fence number nine this time. Little to choose between those leaders. They're about five lengths in front of Brimley. So on towards this fence that will be the last next time. And painted gold on the outside of King's Apollo. And they're about seven or eight lengths clear now of Brimley. As they race past the judge with a circuit ahead of them. So painted gold goes on now by just under a length from King's Apollo. On the inside, little to choose between those two. And they're a good eight lengths in front of Brimley. Painted gold, the better of the jumps at that one. Goes on by just over a length from King's Apollo. And they remain clear of Brimley. So this is the last one in this straight. Painted gold once again. Kings of Poe didn't jump that particular fence that well on the previous circuit and didn't that time either. So painted gold with a lead of a length and a half with the two lengths now over Kings of Polo and a good 12 length gap then back to Brimley as they head to the back straight for the final time. So Painted Gold and Jeremy Mayo lead by a couple of lengths from Kings Apollo and Jamie Nixon. They remain clear of Brimley and Rob Hodges. So four fences down the back straight and two in the home straight. And Painted Gold gone on by about five lengths as they come to this one. Jumps it well from Kings Apollo in second place. Brimley trying to get a little bit closer to them as they come to this 
second and final open ditch. Painted gold with a lead of about three to four lengths as they come into it. Didn't get too high at that. Kings Apollo also not too high. Grimly being ridden along with not making too much headway into this lead. But painted gold absolutely flew that one. Kings Apollo was not desperately impressive at it. So one more to jump down that back straight. Painted Gold with a good lead over this long odds on favourite as they take this one. Painted Gold over by about six to seven lengths from Kings Apollo and about 15 then back to Brimley. So two fences to jump as they disappear into the Poplar Cups. And this year we can see just a little bit through the Poplar Cups as Painted Gold comes out of it with a lead of a good eight lengths over Kings Apollo in second place 15 to 20 back to Brimley as they race into the home straight with just two fences to jump Painted Gold on Jeremy Mao take that one about six lengths to here of Kings Apollo in second place Brimley just coming to it now but it's Painted Gold Looks like an upset here. He gets over this fence safely. But painted gold sees a good stride. Jumps it really well from Kings Apollo in second place. Grimly back in third, but it's painted gold. And Jeremy Mao will win that one from Kings Apollo. And Jamie Nixon in second place. Grimly and Rob Hodges in third. Just the three rounds. No, no way. Thank you.